What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So once again, the eagle-eyed amongst you may realise that this table of forces looks different, and I'll tell you why. It's because, again, for whatever reason, I don't know why this time, um, but the game, the save file, corrupted again, so I've gone through what I've done in the last turn generally the same. Um, so the forces are in a bit of a different place, but again, we are still sieging Berlin and Dresden. I don't know why, because Russia's not... We're not at war with Russia. The the usual suspect is not in is not up to any shenanigans, so I don't know why it's happened. So we are going to carry on. So our named force under Homer Chandler is going to assault Berlin. Um hmm. Well, actually We are going to fight the Battle of Berlin this turn, but I'm thinking these two guys down here. It might make more sense to take them out by attacking Dresden, because A, Dresden's undefended, there's no walls, and it also draws these guys in. Well, it should do. It does. It draws them into that fight, which I think is probably better to take them out of the equation defending Dresden, and then we get a nice, relatively stable battle of taking Berlin. So I think we're going to do that. So apologies for the change of programming, but I think that probably makes more sense. Um, because... The quick battle, quick siege tactic does work. But it's with the Prussians, and they've got good infantry. Hmm. So let's quickly knock out Dresden first, and then we'll take Berlin. So apologies for misleading you in the last episode. We're going to take Dresden, and we will take Berlin this episode, which has our named troops in them. So let's just quickly take out Dresden and draw those two reinforcing armies into battle. So obviously this is George Wade. His army is mainly a battlefield army because it has a large contingent of fusiliers. But this is a settlement that has no fortifications, so there's not as much demand for melee combat. So let's quickly... well, no, not quickly. Let's see how the terrain looks. We can deploy our forces. Oh, it's lovely terrain. So our fusiliers are going to go... Oh, actually, we've got the... We've got the town, weirdly. My fusiliers are going to deploy with the town to their back. Got some elite infantry that have got some the town to protect them as well. There's only one regiment protecting the left, so they will get the pikes. And the bulk of the cavalry contingent, of course, this is probably where deployment screws me over. There's not a lot you can do about that. Deploy the howitzers. Yeah. So we're bringing a general's unit in. Field marshal in. And that's where the obviously the the enemy well, some of the enemy reinforcements are coming in from the side that we have the fewest defenses. So let's get our field marshal over here rapidly so he doesn't get caught out. Enemy waters have been dispatched. Actually, let's make sure they don't cross cross streams. Focus fire on this army. Destroy it entirely. Well, I mean, we will advance up one flank. But yeah, we are going to want to see some excellent shrapnel fire like that. Then probably a bit of a pivot to face the main threat. Come on, howitzers! This is where your time. This is your time to shine because you've got units running like perpendicular to your firing arc. You missed against the second regiment of militia. So probably want to re. Oh, great shrapnel shots going in through the centre. 
Okay, those guys are a bit of a bad shrapnel target because they are firing over their heads. I might send push up one unit or one flank. But I do want to keep my artillery blasting. Because I think these guys are a bad shrapnel target. Because they're boot they're bursting. Well now that now they aren't a bad shrapnel target. Yeah, they are. They're actually bursting high. Quick climb will take care of them. And this is a rather elite formation they're advancing against. It's the Royal Welsh Fusiliers. Seaman may cause the second to rout. Yep. Ye men, focus the light cavalry sharpshooters at danger close. Round sharp. Now shrapnel sharp, because I didn't want to fire into the back of my formation. Yeah. Oh. gonna say that has to be you guys done oh hello all these troops back there we go Lancer Guards love times like this. Move my field marshal up to take command of the left flank, George Wade. Merely, he is merely a, a, merely a general. You men begin engaging the reinforcements coming in. Very well, I didn't, don't think I made you guys attack the Dragoons, but you can. Field artillery, just pivot. Round shot will be fine. The dragoons are being whittled down. Good. Some good shrapnel shot coming in. probably do want to just be a bit more aggressive with my infantry line get all the howitzers to keep engaging the enemy the ninth lancers the bosniaks they look pretty cool but i got my own foot lancers if you like come in to say hello and they'll get to you before my you'll get to my infantry who will cease fire. Fire a few passing shots into the Bosniaks. Swiss Guard, Swiss Guard, Swiss Infantry. Western European infantry, Swiss guard, Swiss pike, Swiss line. Lots of Swiss troops. Pull the cavalry back lest they get cheap kills. Or too many cheap kills. Great shrapnel shot coming in. Looks like they, they do want to get my cavalry. The Bosniaks coming in again, so my grenadiers are going to preemptively form square. You guys are going to limber up. You guys pivot a bit more specifically against 
the enemy. Yeah, they might do some good work against us, those lancers. So all of you, apart from the field marshals, smash into that unit of Swiss guards. There we go. Bosniaks have been shattered. There we go. The mighty red coats of the British Line Infantry tearing their way, tearing their spire into the hearts of the enemy. Advance my pikes up. Swiss line bravely attempting to slog it out with my men, but being cut down. It's my Swiss grenadiers. Royal Welch Fusiliers are having a go as well. They have been repelled. So I want to try and start running some of this cavalry through the gaps. I mean, I'm going to accept an amount of damage done here. That's kind of a no-brainer. I think it's worth it to pursue the Swiss or the Prussians. Including the quick climb fratricide. Swiss guards are nearly almost completely destroyed. The Swiss pikes are done for. Charging our pikes into the shoot of Swiss guards. Get George Wade involved now. Actually, get the cavalry on the move still. We'll get some of our cavalry on the move. Plenty of other units to take out first. All my artillery is going to cease fire because this combat might end up being the last thing in in range. Field marshal is going to stand here. Pistols ready. I think it's pistols, not carbines. I'm sure my Swiss guard won't appreciate me for it, but I want to see this. Load your handguns! Fire! Then charge in. Run, Swiss pikemen! Flee the maelstrom! Damn right we're going to continue. Oh, what's the what's the uh, the way that the mayoress and thin blue line puts it? It says we're going to show this Euro bastard just how tolerant we are. And you're like, ah, <laughs> right, nice point, well made. Uh, I like the thin blue line. There we go. It says I've got my it's my ass on the line, and I don't want a cock up. I don't want you sticking your nose in and ferreting about. <laughs> oh. There we go. 
Third foot guard. There's only two men left. That's the last. Well, these are the last two guys. Come on. Yes. Sweet. So for a pretty significant battle there, we only lost one, eight, 183 men. They lost 3,500. And these two reinforcing armies have actually been pretty well destroyed. Seamen replenish. Your guard unit's ready. Obviously Leipzig, Leipzig is a university which we do not want to exist because it makes them very unhappy. Now we can repair that. Good. So Vienna isn't ripe for the picking yet. So one thing we did do is we moved up to this bridge, but I'm having to stay here because I didn't manage to uh, destroy Classical University quick enough, so they are still really unhappy. You guys are going to re be replenishing. You guys are going to advance further up the pass. Because once this army hits this force and drives them wet east, I want this army to attack and siege Venice while two armies push down Italy from both sides of the mountain, as we're still actually holding on to yes, sieging Naples. So I wonder if I can... No, they are still here. So I do want to keep you guys in reserve. I want them to attack me so I can repel them in a large action. Then over in Eastern Europe, things are not going so well. One of the things that did happen that was a bit different was uh, one of my auto-resolves didn't go quite so well. So we've actually got a lot of troops running around our front. And this is kind of what we expected to happen anyway. So all we're doing is just holding the line. Bring out more infantry. Got a small force here near Moscow, so I'm going to run my Moscow garrison out to just auto them quickly. Glorious victory. To just push them back. Because we don't need him in Moscow to keep them to keep them happy. Could probably do with recruiting more men there as well. Let's get a guard infantry unit there. So we have two Ottoman troops advancing, which we may or may not intercept with Richie Compton. And that's a lot of troops to push back. But he's got quite a good contingent to do that. And fundamentally, things are going just fine. I'm not concerned. So this force here... Where would I land it? Do I land them in Greece? I mean, this army's still on the way down towards the Pueblo nations. These armies are still being formed. So you need two of these howitzers. You've got howitzers. You've got howitzers. You've got howitzers. You don't. Let's take one infantry unit of each type out. So these last two howitzers can go into Providence. Providence is going to recruit. Start recruiting the bones of another army. And we're going to draw we're going to use up the, the last of our um, unique US unit recruitment, although we do still still have some to come from Montreal, which is quite nice. It's got a navy here that needs replenishing and is being replenished. You guys sail you sail back into Bristol. Got another unit of Irish volunteers who's gonna march over to join this army. So you're nearly done, you're recruiting sharpshooters. Giles Brophy is Well, he needs pretty much just Cavalry. Although let's try not to get all heavies. Three cavalry. Three. Oh, okay, all cavalry. We want to get three howitzers or well, three field artillery. Doesn't look like I can recruit. Ah. 
then I'm probably going to get a Highlander Warband and a Sharpshooter. I mean, I can deal with spare units as we need to. But yeah, things are a bit dodgy in the in the east, but in the west, things are going very well. So Coburg is being destroyed. Leipzig being destroyed. Good stuff. So yeah, Saxony was captured. Then we want to take Homer Chandler. Attack Berlin, because now the reinforcing army is useless. So let's go and take this city. Take the centre of, of Prussian power. March into Berlin. A whole different type of Red Army marching into Berlin this time. We'll take the city. And then, well, convert... Well, try and... Uh, keep the advance eastward going as rapidly as possible because we're rolling up pretty much the guts of the the uh, Prussian Empire before they can even really respond in the east. They've got some armies in difficult positions in the east that might cause a couple of issues but nothing... there is no existential threat in the east which is delightful. So... I want to try and make two breaches. One on one flank and one on the other. So the first and... Okay, first of all, Pikes are going into this this breach here. Highlanders are going into the other breach. They are going to be supported by first and Welsh... First and second Royal Welsh... Uh, first and second Royal Welsh Grenadier regiments. On the left and on the right, you've got the Von Losberg Rofman's Royal Brigade and the number one... Yorkshire's number one. And then let's deploy couple of units on each flank to try and push around. Charlie Scott's Grey is going to go on the left. A heavy cavalry on the right. Field Marshal in the centre. Howitzers open up. to get one to fire on the sensor, another to start firing on units on the walls. That's a whole lot of dead Prussians. But we will make our way in. I would like to try and knock out some of these mortars because, you know, I really don't like mortars. Let's speed up time. So here's a re enemy reinforcement unit joining the field. And thanks to our Dresden battle, it is that light cavalry sharpshooter unit that we uh, shrapnel shotted the bejesus out of. Yeah, that is Swiss Pikes. So it is worth damaging them, because Swiss Pike units are incredibly frustrating. Whoa! A shot from the walls killed my field marshal. Sorry, Homer. Still, we're making excellent progress towards punishing those responsible for your death. Poor, poor old homie. It wasn't just any old guy. He was a field marshal of Europe. He was a, a valuable general. Not valuable enough, it would appear. Let's just let the artillery continue to blow a hole in the wall. We're not worried about reinforcements coming in because their reinforcements, the reinforcements that do come in are useless. Well, not useless, they're just incredibly weak as to not really change the price of fish. Especially when we've got buckets of artillery. So keep bombarding the breach. God, the Swiss pikes are nearly completely annihilated down to 27 men. I'm still engaging, attacking this breach over here, which is nice. See, the artillery is going to keep la keep lobbing shots directly into the breach, hopefully getting the odd kill here and there. The Freikorps line have been cut down to 14 men. So let's get... 
get our howitzers to focus on the breaches because that's realistically the only way we're going to get in. New men cease fire. First and second Royal Welsh are advancing on the flank. Highlanders are going to go in. And the Yorks number one, the Von Lossbergs and Roferman's Royal Brigade advancing on the right. We've got some units to push up the flanks. Let's get one quick climb unit trying to clear out that unit of Swiss line. Let's try and get one unit to try and damage that Firelock Armed Citizenry unit because they are quite vulnerable there. Heavy cavalry wander up. These men push to the left of Charlie's. Scott's Greys. So who is... I suspect, yeah, it's usually the pikes they really don't like. Quick Lime's come in and really tore the arse out of these Swiss Guard units. So I like to try and run an infantry unit to hold the wall here, then get my rifles up on this section to pour de deadly rifle fire down into the breach. So I'm probably going to have to charge my pikes in here. Start. Let's just force them to start committing men to the action. The grenadiers hold position. Okay, let's get a regiment of foot to attack there. Get my grenadiers to climb up there and my rifles to advance up this section here. Glorious green jackets. You men cease fire because you're not going to do anything but kill the Highlanders. My pikemen are advancing into the breach. So let's redirect my howitzer fire to try and do some damage to their mortar crews. Run some troops up ready to help mob that militia unit. Get my heavy cavalry up on the flank. So let's get a unit of line infantry to scale here. Sharpshooters to scale near the edge. The marines are down. The pikes are down due to mortar fire. Cleared out some garrison mortar crews. So I need my howitzers to keep trying to drop um, mortar uh, quick climb onto these guns. It doesn't matter what they do, they are just devastating. So hopefully my line infantry here can take out the Swiss guards. There's a bit of a collapse of the enemy morale on this front. More quick climb coming in. This unit's a bit far away, but the this field regiment here is getting really badly damaged. These men, if they can secure the gate, my my light infantry, my field, my um. My line infantry can kill the Swiss guards and my riflemen take position upon the wall here. Hey, my pikes came back. You men, fire at will. First and second Royal Welsh. Yeah, they're starting to interfere with my operations to, sal to climb up the wall now. But my line, my, this line infantry should be enough to knock out the Swiss guards when my rifles are up on the wall, hopefully. There we go. Get my heavy cavalry in around the flank. Let's stop my artillery from firing altogether. A regiment of foot hit the garrison militia. First and second Royal Welsh charge in. Or they're broken anyway. 
Nope, starting to chug. Understandable. We got a lot of melee going on here. Now, Scott's Graze. Now. Although, where do I send you? Run in and secure the mortar garrison. Okay, the first and second Royal Welsh. Get inside, secure the fort. The Swiss Pikes, Charlie Scott's Grays and my sharpshooters are forlornly fighting this action. My heavy cavalry's in. I'm going to clear out the walls. The Von Lossberg, Yorkshire number ones, and Rifleman's Royal Brigade are securing the right hand breach. My rifles have finally got into position on the walls to do some shooty shooty. Let's get these marines off the walls. The general's been killed. First Royal Welsh can secure the centre of the fort. Second Royal Welsh can get up here and help support the help support this regiment of infant regiment of line infantry that's trying to attack the attack this section of the wall. Sharpshooters, hold your ground. Now you men scale the wall. So the reinforcements coming in, but they're don't worry about him. The Marines hit the 5th Regiment. These troops get inside. The Rifles get them to secure the wall. There we go. Get my Light Dragoons back because we know what we're going to expect. I mean, they might slam into these men at the bottom of the walls here, but... There we go. Second Royal Welsh help secure the wall. Huzzah. Well, these sharpshooters, fire at will, do you want to put a volley into the flank of these Lancer guards? There only one of you shot. Ceasefire. Pikes charge. My pikes should just catch them. There we go. And that means that Charlie Scott's Greys can get the charge off. Huzzah. The fortress is ours. The reinforcement is routing. Yeah, they've broken. Hurrah! Hurrah, hurrah! Berlin is taken. So let's see what happened. Let's see the kill table. Let's see who's doing the best. There's my field marshal that died. Oh, I can't actually see. I can't. Oh, it's, it's the unit. It doesn't show me the name. Damn. But line infantry unit, Hessian line unit. Could be von Losberg. I think it might be the von Losbergs actually. I think they're the only the, they're the only Hessian line unit we've got. Yeah, it is. And it is indeed. So it's von Losberg infantry at first. Late Marines that have gone up to three chevrons. I'm pretty sure that's the first Yorkshires. Then it's Charlie's Light Dragoons. Then it's the Highlanders. Then the Grenadiers and my Grenadiers start to pick up. I'm at around the ooh, quite a big disparity actually. Still a good amount of kills. Berlin was taken. We killed an enemy agent. Let's repair the city. Let's pick a unit from Charlie Scott's Greys to replace the general, Lucien Burgess. So where's your university? It's a modern university, but I don't want it because it's on the frontier. So this force marched to secure Breslau next turn. 
Hopefully you guys can secure Saxony in the meantime and advance south and hit Prague. Send my spies south to look at Vienna. Oh god, they've got nothing around here. I mean... I mean, what I'm probably going to do is just dump a bunch of infantry... Well, let's get some infantry and two engineers. But what I'm probably going to do is take Jude Abbott... Because they're minus 13, we destroy the university, that makes things even. Then once we've recruited, we'll have a garrison next turn. Take Jude Abbott and march on to Vienna. Oh, we're not in range. Still. Still, though. Not a bad result. You might actually be a good candidate to hit Verona. Well, let's see. If Verona... If we, if we don't draw in the Venice garrison, no, then it's an auto-resolve for you, my lad. Help. You men can replenish. Sir. Mark Cochrane can push down ready to hit Venice next turn. Genoa, you're staying staying ready. Tunis, you're a, a bit of a loose end. Soon, the end, well, the end for the Barbary States will be next turn. Things are going pretty well. See, India eludes us, but soon, soon, that will be the end of their... That'll be the end of their ga little games. So let's move these chaps over to this lone spot here. So yeah, we do want to get a proper trade fleet out there. It's a proper fleet recruiting there, it's not what I'm after. Sandy Bay have recruited all the privateers we can get. Let's recruit another heavy privateer. There we go. Let's mix some of these up. Start sending them out there. Got a sloop here. I'm not entirely sure where I was going to send you. Maybe Safaki. Hmm. Yeah, I am content to let them try and push me at Naples. They've got a couple of turns to wait. Gives us an opportunity to do some good offensive action in Europe. Like I said, Munich should chill out. Let's build more warp, build better roads. I mean, Hanover is a bit of a problem, so I might have to stop taxing you and make sure I pick up some infantry to guard you there and let's just quickly check that we are tax we are exempting from tax the ones that need to be exempted from tax so Stuttgart can afford to be taxed I said Hanover needs to be exempted for now Berlin's okay for now lots of these areas over to the east are okay you push up to Yagawa just to make sure it doesn't look like a soft touch. Although those guys could probably take it from you. Let's combine these armies together. These fragments. Harold Williams. I would like you to push onto one of my cities, if possible. Same with you. At least here I get defensive formations or defensive positions as well. That's my sad general's loss. Let's upgrade the steam power cloth mill. You guys aren't in range to knock out Augustus Rose. Although you guys do need... The unit was lost in the auto-resolves. But let's hit end turn. This army's nearly reached the Pueblo nations. Yeah, Prussia's finally realised that the heart of their empire is exposed. They can try and save it by expanding east, but if they don't do it quick enough, obviously they run around me. Why not? Eh. What? No. <laughs> don't intercept me with my guards, because why waste? Why waste a unit of the guards? The worst thing they could have done is try and demolish the universities to try and, well, try and stop me from demolishing the universities, but that hasn't happened. You guys are raiding, that's okay. They're combining their troops. Do I want to intercept Königsberg? Damn right I do. 
Let's bring this half Prussian army in range of our guns on the wall, especially when they have no artillery. So they have to try and scale the walls, fall back, scale, fall back, scale, fall back. A breach is better, but meh. I'd rather them have either no artillery or lots of artillery. If they've got no artillery, they have to scale the walls. If they've got like a couple of guns and can maybe do a bit of a bit of something, that's the most frustrating because then they scale your walls, so you have to defend them all. And then once you're knackered after fighting the walls, all the remnants can then suddenly pour through a breach. And then the next time you're attacked, you are then also at risk of getting overwhelmed. Can my light... There, right. Can my light infantry over the gates? I mean, I'm going to have plenty of infantry here, but that's exactly what you want from a... A garrison defen a d defensive army in a garrison. So I generally tend to shy away from covering the gatehouses unless I've got surplus troops. Which I do. Drop my heart, it's actually a bit closer in the middle. Push out my. Push out these troops. Artillery can hold ground. My cavalry is going to hold ground as well. Oh, they do have artillery. My mistake. Focus on that with my howitzers because I don't need my I don't need my howitzers to, to kill infantry. Those were just ranging shots. And they can't get in anywhere easy. So they can try and make... I mean, if they made a breach, that would be fine. But yeah, I'd rather they didn't. Fundamentally, lots of these units are going to get absolutely shot to bits. And if I can knock out their, their artillery quickly and that'll make it even better but there we go so i like light infantry on the walls because they they engage from further out so they almost start the the morale tick earlier rather than later go the stand they got bowled over by a cannonball but didn't die but there goes the 50 second They will, they will come back. They've not lost many men. Delicious. Yeah, if they make a breach, then meh. More power to them. But it's going to take them a long time, and our artillery actually might even knock them out. Yeah, they're routing. And they've not got too far to go. So let's pick a new target. So don't worry about their cavalry, because if they don't have enough cavalry, they will... Well, may as well actually attack the cavalry. So the third regiment's getting into range. But that would have really hurt. Yeah, an artillery shot's what I wanted, would have, what I would have liked to have seen. 29th regiment... Is likely to uh, experience some upset. Still just getting pounded. Here comes Quick Climb. Cut the heart out of the 52nd Regiment. Down to 92 troops. Doing some reasonable damage to these Hussars. That's a good shot there. So the 34th, who are currently charging. The artillery shot always makes them upset. There we go, and they've routed. The gun crews are coming back. But will they man their guns, or will they just run past them and... Okay. How it says, re-engage the artillery. 
cavalry are routing. They're routing. Most of their infantry is routing. I mean, they can't really get in the way they want to. Okay, ideally, even so, if we knock out their artillery, hopefully we can. They're making, a, they're making a breach isn't a massive problem, but it's... It's better to not, for now. Okay, you guys fire it well off, then on. Take up your positions again. Realise this guy's right there. Pour in a not-so-devastating volley, but enough to make them rout. Because you guys should be engaging that unit. Yeah. There's another 15, 16 men killed. It's the main thing is over here. Can my howitzers knock out one of their guns? Because right now it's becoming a bit of a... Well, this militia unit won't win that battle. Because we're... We've got cover and they don't. There we go. Horse artillery is routed. There we go. Now we just speed up time because they can't get in. They can't get in. Nothing cool is happening. There's a risk we might do a bit of friendly fire with quicklime, but the 3rd Regiment will simply fall. Come on! Might even run this light infantry unit out to here. To do a bit more extra damage. There we go. I never like to man these positions ordinarily because they seem to do nothing but cause headaches. Um, but yeah, what I'm probably going to do is, because nothing super interesting is going to happen, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something uh, something happens. Either they leave or we win. So see you in a second, everyone. Okay, so I didn't wait very long till I got bored and charged out a heavy cavalry unit, because I think, well, I may as well try and kill their general. And then retreat within range of the wall. Because they're Swiss... Pikemen think they're getting an excellent shot. They're trying to kill some cavalry. But actually, they're getting... They're falling into the trap. See, there's a skirmish cow, so I do want to be careful with them. Although, to be honest, I'm definitely not above sacrificing some heavy cavalry. to result in the the death of many many enemy units let's run my cavalry back to the gate let's get my light infantry back behind the central position above the gate so there we go now they fancy their chances make ready fire oh, the enemy general's bodyguard got obliterated. How oh, it's his focus on the Regiment of Pikes. How oh, it's a shells away. Try and cut some holes through the enemy line. Enemy general's been killed. Swiss pikes are wavering. And they're broken. Ceasefire. Let's get my cuirassier out here to go finish off that unit of dragoons. I mean, they might well rout as we're killing 
these units. Charge the Freikor Cavalry because they're Skirmish Cavalry. Don't let them get too many cheap kills. Yeah, the Dragoons are routing. Eh, I'll take that. That's what you devils get, wandering too close to my borders. Yes. Back you go. So the Ottomans, they're a, they're a bit trickier. They, they've got some real stuff they could do. I'm hoping one of those two armies will drive east so that we can... So that we can... Um, try and only fight one of the armies in the field and destroy one of their armies well, cause one of the other armies to be attrited to hell and back before the gates of one of our cities then leaving us ripe for the counter attack um, but there is a oh no, there was a bit of movement there um, but yeah, right now I think the Ottomans are uh, pretty concerned that, you know, Vienna is totally within yoinking distance. There's nothing they can do about it. Well, as far as I can see, there's nothing they can do about it. And we're about to cut off Italy from the rest of their empire, and that will be gobbled up. What I'm probably going to do is chop the recording again, because it looks like they're trying to make up their mind. So, see you in a second, everyone. I don't want to waste too much time <laughs> waste too much time me just uh, blabbering away over nonsense. Ah, they finally... So, they spent a lot of time doing not very much um, around the periphery of uh, my field of vision, and they've now sallied and hit Jude Abbott, who is actually going to fall back. They need to do a bit of replenishment. So Jude will retreat. I mean, I wouldn't have liked... Would, that's not really the direction I would have liked him to have gone up towards Prague. But yeah, there's lots of... We've pushed a lot of their armies that they were building into the... Uh, to some dangerous zones but still they've scattered them out which means we can now attack and destroy them one at a time that's something that's the main thing that's the main way to to look at this problem i think is that they've spread them out and we can um take those armies out piecemeal barbie states yeah so they had to sally because they have nothing else to do this is the last turn. This is the last settlement. Uh, they couldn't really... Well, they weren't going to do anything else other than attack. So, yeah. This is the end of the Barbary States. Um, and this also means it opens up a front line to fight the Ottomans in Egypt. Ah, uh, Tripoli. I know ye well. The old artillery, stay out of it. How it's as far as will. Marines, just hunker down. Cavalry, get ready. Take this other foot artillery, just group them all together. There's no real rush. Because they've just they've not got a whole lot. They've got um, a very few, a very small selection of units. So yeah, I'm just gonna speed up time because right now they're a long distance away. Um, they have to make up a lot of ground to get to us. We might take these troops and push them up like so, with the cavalry extended out on the flank. Okay, one of my howards is focusing on one unit of camel nomads, the other is focusing on another unit of camel nomads. There we go. Because fundamentally there's not a lot going on. That's a lovely quick climb target, but there's no rush. Yeah, these camel nomads are running into musket range. They were charging, but I doubt they will continue their charge yep they fired their volley and they can now retreat with honor fulfilled 
come on now, my is also on the charge. Yeah, but they've been... They've been well and truly destroyed. So then that's... The only thing to do is to pivot your line to get flanking far into these desert warriors and then watch them fall. Because they are not long for this world. These shattered, shattered. No, they're just broken, so they might come back. But if they do, I've got lifeguards here. Yeah, they're firing off a couple of, uh, a few, an odd volley or, or so. Not enough to change the price of fish. So the marines can make ready. The 146th is being, is being peppered. There's a general's bodyguard, just attack them with my cavalry. Let's cease fire the artillery. Because to be honest, it doesn't matter if we chase them down or not. They'll get us some experience points, but to be honest, this army's pretty generally quite experienced across the board, so there's no real rush to gain more just yet. There's plenty of battles ahead for them. Although... Although it is a good chance to get some experience. So I immediately talked myself out of doing exactly what I wasn't going to do. Let's bring a unit to go hit the Desert Warriors there, because I've I've turned Fire at Will off for a lot of my units. Go on then, let's take let's try and tidy up and get some free experience. Try and get no chase keep chasing them down. I don't know realistically how much of a difference it's going to make. Man, I don't actually remember how my how the my units were doing regarding experience beforehand. But still any's better than none, I would wager. I mean, I was going to say this unit's going to escape. Well, it's not going to escape. It's uh, the city is going to be captured. So now it's everyone against this last unit of desert warriors right here. Chase them down. So that that um, end turn took about a quarter of an hour ish to tick through. So I was playing on my phone. Um, so I'm probably going to start chopping end turn phases, for the most part. No. No peace. You can try and invade what you like. You're not going to make it. You just aren't. Protestant missionary in France. That's good stuff. Let's get you up to... No, not... Everyone's fairly... Yeah. Get you Catholic, get you to um, Munich. It's a privateer. Yeah, raid. Barbados was blockaded, but because we didn't make peace, their army was destroyed. So you men can replenish, build better roads, upgrade the trade port. This army could leapfrog their way to Egypt. That's probably the smart idea. Send them down to Sirt. Upgrade the dry dock. New men hold. So what the Ottomans did was they've done a lot of running. And they've run around a few of my units. So these guys have spread out so I can run this unit north here and march into Mr. Hakim, which is a good idea. We may send Ian Stevenson 
down this road. And in which case move Hector Norton and his force west. See, they have started to move out stacks of troops towards our front. Even con concerningly so with the Prussians there. So the Prussians haven't flanked us anywhere. This army's just run around um, doing some raiding. So they'll likely be taken out by the Algarve garrison in due course. Although you guys could definitely do it, as could you. Now you're needed to bottle up troops that come up through this gap here. So it'll probably be the Algarve garrison that will end up going to fight David Torba. The force here in East Prussia is gathering. Disband that unit. Let's take this individual unit, send them to Yogava. There we go. You guys have more of a conventional force. You start to recruit some elite infantry. So once they're recruited, I'll ship some regular line infantry elsewhere. Construction. Yeah, Württemberg. Start the conversion to Protestantism. Good old Protestantism. We can repair this happiness building here. We can build you, upgrade you to a church school, upgrade you to an iron workshop. So, this force here is probably going to have to go back up. First of all, let's see if we can march to here. Or well, actually, first, if we do that, that's going to trigger a river battle. Yes, my lord. Yeah, so Jasper, let's get you guys back home to repair. Then we'll find somewhere to send you. Some fifth rates on the way out, so you guys combine. We can split these fifths into into pairs. Let's hop back to Europe. No, our next lane, next lot of ships aren't ready to be sent across. You guys are trained. You guys are recruited. Lewin Mayhew. York. There we go. The Worcester Regiment is being recruited, so Jules Bertie, Mr. Bertie, you can have two Worcester Regiment, take four cavalry, because I'm pretty sure we're out of... No, we're not out of 16th Light Dragoons. Let's take one of these Colonial Lights out. You can pick up a 16th Regiment. Let's and let's di directly recruit to them to the remaining two units of grenadiers, another unit of Rogers Rangers, and another unit of Rangers to help as a bit of a sweetener. It's in Montreal, still recruiting. How it says are marching up to their surrogate armies. This will be quite the invasion force. Workers on strike in Hanover, not anymore. They aren't. Well, I better keep them untaxed. Better keep them untaxed for now. Workers riot in Bavaria, but they've chilled out. Workers on strike in Saxony again. They have also chilled out. Okay, so that's one of the armies that was frustratingly behind our lines. You guys destroy that remnant of tr remnant of, of an army there. You guys pick up there in. Infantry unit, you men replenish and get to that bridgehead. You men are going to march. Ooh, do you guys put Dresden under siege while George Wade replenishes? So I've got my spy. Let's get my spy into Breslau. I don't want to do any city capturing yet because I've got well I do want to do some city capturing but I don't want to do it yet because I've got um some I want to try and see if I can get onto the bridge here because that would really cut the cut off the Ottoman offensive I want to get you guys out of the way 
So this force at Verona can attack and destroy that isolated fragment. I mean, they're in bad shape, so they might actually fall back. Any Flynn Gardner can advance to keep a bit of pressure on the enemy. So you're here just in case. Well, if this goes wrong, we're in a river battle, which is still fun. But it's very much what I want to end the episode on, so I don't want to accidentally trigger another battle. So I don't really want to be caught unprepared against the against the Danish when they arrive. So get two guard units. Let's get one unit of Fergus. Actually, no. Recruit my Ferguson riflemen in England. So you're ready. You need to. You're going to hit Mr. Hakim. You're not going to go anywhere because you're currently facing down two armies that might attempt to drive into our territory. There's a lot of Ottoman units on the move. You're building up your army. I've got these two armies here that are waiting. When when we eventually do declare war on Russia, we will wipe them out. But what I want to do is take Jude Abbott and get you here. More Didn't think they'd let me, but hopefully it means we've got a river battle um, where they're all on the opposite side. And the odds aren't overwhelming because it's only these three armies, but hopefully when I hit them, they'll go east. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, hopefully, for a river battle because I'm going to save this and then immediately test if the save is corrupted. So see you in a second, everyone. Well, see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching.